मेरी क्लास ढाई बजे शुरू मेरे को क्लास टाइमिंग नहीं चेंज करना था जयेश सर को करना था उन्होंने कॉमन मेल भेज दिया मेरा ऑप्शनल होता है वो पौने दो बजे खत्म होता है टू थर्टी ही दैट वॉज अ मिस्टेक डन बाय प्रशांत इट वॉज ओनली मोइंट फॉर जून बैच बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर देर इज ऑलवेज अ चेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑफ लैंड टू सी विच बिकॉज इट इज मोर कूलर पोल्स आर मोर कूलर एंड दिज आर वार्मर नॉट प्रेशर प्रेशर विल डू आइसो बार्स दिस इज ओनली टेम्परेचर आइसो थोम्स फाइन सो आई एम क्विकली रिवाइजिंग वॉट इज डोल्ड ड्रम टेल मी वेदर दिस इज ट्रू और फॉल्स रिगार्डिंग डोल्ड ड्रम एबसेंस ऑफ विंड्स इन द रीजन ऑफ डोल्ड ड्रम्स येस ट्रू heavy rainfall true high pressure false it is an false now considering consider the following statements with horse latitude this is a past year question a horse latitude is a region is a transition zone which is having no or very little winds and surface low pressure true or false फिर से मैं स्टेटमेंट रिपीट कर रहा हूँ अ हॉर्स लैटिट्यूड इज अ जोन इज अ ट्रांजिशन जोन विच इज हैविंग वेरी लिटिल और नो विंड सिस्टम हैविंग सरफेस लो प्रेशर कहाँ पे मिस्टेक है स्टेटमेंट में सरफेस हाई प्रेशर नॉट अ सरफेस लो प्रेशर अदरवाइज द कंडीशन आर सेम वॉट इज द सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन डोल्ड्रम्स एंड हॉर्स लैटिट्यूड की दोनों में ट्रांजिशन विंड सिस्टम है इट डज ट्रांजिशन जोन इट डज नॉट हैव अ विंड सिस्टम वॉट इज द डिफरेंस Difference is horse latitude high pressure. The this is a low pressure doldrums. Second difference is because it is a low pressure, it will be rainy. And because this is a high pressure, wind is supposed to come down. Now we'll do in the tomorrow's lecture in humidity when the wind comes down, its moisture holding capacity increases, and therefore there is absence of rain. So in the belt of horses latitude, there is absence of rain, and that's why we have deserts. That too on the western side. Why not in the eastern side? we'll see in the today's lecture second thirdly the fronts what is the zone of fronts what do you mean by fronts any region jahan pe winds will converge but this winds are different winds contrasting winds when they converge it will result into the formation of fronts so we have the frontal zone between 60 to 65 why because it is the zone of convergence of cold and warm winds so what is the name of cold wind polar easterlies and what is the name of warm wind westerlies is the westerlies q winds ke name aise hote hain winds ke names are always there because of the direction where they originate jis side se wind is coming wo wo naam ban jata hai if it is coming from north west south west or west wo ban jayegi westerly if it is coming from any part of east chahe north east south east or east wo ban jayegi easterly so this is how the winds ka names are given understanding this ab you write one one statement here one statement before we go to the bit complex part that is wind the statement is all the pressure belts all the pressure belts undergo undergo shifting undergo shifting except polar high pressure belt except polar high pressure belt except polar high pressure belt Now I'm asking you some of the statements from NCERT Chapter 10. Tell me true or false. Or if there is any doubt, you just tell me this where the doubt is. Winds redistribute the heat and moisture across the planet, thereby maintaining constant temperature for the planet. Winds will help in redistribution of heat and moisture. If cold wind is coming to the hot region, what will happen? Cold climate. 
what is going to happen now in the coming days cold matlab high pressure ya low pressure high. high pressure so which part of india is going to experience snowfall himalayas or great plains himalayas, himalayas. and therefore winds will originate in himalayas because the entire himalaya belt will come become high pressure and this winds are cold winds we are situated here delhi and as a result winds will come downwards and they will bring cold waves so jaise hi there is a snowfall here the winds will increase high pressure to low pressure q ho raha hai because of pressure difference wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure so the arabian sea is at low pressure bay of bengal is at low pressure comparatively low hai difference indian ocean is at low pressure because indian ocean will take time to get heated to get cooled sorry इसलिए साइक्लॉन्स ओरिजिनेट हो रहे हैं बिकॉज साइक्लॉन्स कैन ओरिजिनेट ओनली ऑन वार्म ओशन सर्फेस जिसका टेम्परेचर इज ग्रेटर दैन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो रिसेंट वन इज कौन से कोस्ट पे ईस्टर्न कोस्ट वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ईस्टर्न कोस्ट कौन से कंट्री ने नाम दिया बांग्लादेश श्रीलंका श्रीलंका हैज गिवन द नेम वाई इससे पहले बांग्लादेश तो क्या नाम था बांग्लादेश के साइक्लोन का ओके सो वील डू दिस टॉपिक द नेमिंग ऑफ द साइक्लॉन्स लेटर ऑन बट विल कम टू द टॉपिक दैट इज विंड्स देन वील डू द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ द प्रेशर बिल्ड्स ना हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ विंड्स आर देयर there are some winds which are present all over the world chahe anywhere in this world you will find this kind of a wind system and you will call this wind as primary wind or you will find this matlab india mein bhi jaoge to wo wind hai us mein bhi jaoge to same latitudes pe wo wind hai so you call this as the planetary winds or you will call this as the global winds this is primary circulation and iska examples are jo aaj jo kal humne dekha trade winds jisko we will refer as trades trade winds ko trades westerlies and Easterlies, which easterlies? Polar easterlies. There are some kind of the winds which are modification of the primary winds. That is, they derive the source of energy from the primary winds, but they affect different parts of the world. Maybe they affect only the smaller parts of the world, and therefore we will call them as secondary circulation, or we will call them as the regional winds. and iska example is indian monsoon which is going to affect only eastern part of asia not just india it affects monsoon is present in the entire eastern part of asia right from south china sea to cambodia laos vietnam myanmar and then india so ye pura jo eastern part hai this is the known as the monsoon lands of asia aapko yahi pucha tha 2017 ke mains mein that is give the characteristics of indian monsoon which affects the eastern parts of asia last year ka question actually that question is many people got confused because the question mein word tha eastern parts of asia वैसे question is characteristics of indian monsoon wohi monsoon hai jo india mein bhi aata hai wohi monsoon hai jo laos cambodia and vietnam mein bhi the same monsoon is there so iska one example is the monsoon winds and then there are some of the winds which are tertiary circulation tertiary because they affect only a small area of around 60 kilometers maximum or only a small area of the world and therefore we will call them as local winds and we will study this local winds basically in two format whether they are the cold winds or whether they are warm winds 
But before that, what are the factors that affect the wind circulation? Prepare this for mains answer. Factors affecting uh, is Saturday ko aapka iska subjective test hai. Monday se leke jo bhi topic hua hai Saturday tak. So. Saturday or Sunday, jab bhi slot hoga khali. Factors affecting winds. Prepare this because ye geography optional mein question hai and mein aapko numerous questions hai se dikha ta hoon jo pichle saal geography optional mein aate hai aur next year GS mein aate hai. Example is cryosphere wala question. Example is mantle plume wala question. Example is is sal ka IRNSS wala question. As it is without changing the words they ask you in GS. So, prepare this. This has come recently that is what are the factors that affect the wind circulation. So, Quality Enrichment Program, QEP. So, one of the first factor that affects the wind circulation is the difference in the pressure. Pressure difference, which is generally, that is wind always flow from high pressure to low pressure. And this is what is known as a pressure gradient force. Gradient is difference. The difference, greater the difference between high pressure and low pressure, stronger will be the velocity of a wind. Because wind similar to water moves from water jaise moves from higher height to lower heights. Or jitna steep hai slope, utna greater will be the speed of the water. Vaise wind always moves from high pressure to low pressure. Up pure India mein there is a cold climate. The only difference is I say nahi hai ki it is extremely hot in one part of India and it is extremely cold in other part of India. Most of India except for the coastal regions is having winters and therefore everywhere there is a somewhat high pressure except the Kerala region except the coastal regions. So easily India mein abhi winds are very very slow. They are not that stronger winds. But the difference is there in the summer season when Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea is more relatively colder and India is very hot. So, India becomes a low pressure. Why? Because sun is over India. As India becomes a low pressure, the pura area becomes a low pressure. So, surrounding wind is high pressure and therefore, this wind comes towards India. That is the wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Kabhi kabhi aapne dekha hai some parts of the cities becomes so hot ki a low pressure center develops. Yahan se hawa upar chali jati hai. And therefore, the winds from the surrounding region will come. It will become hot and fir andi aati hai. The wind is thrown upwards. And ye difference, jis din bohat zyada garmi hai, you know that sham ko andi aa sakti hai. There can be a heavy rainfall. You say this, there can be a thunderstorm. How do you know? Because you know basically that wind flows from high pressure to low pressure. The only thing is you have not studied it formally. Understanding this, yeah, the, your parents also know that low pressure mein there is a rainfall. Kyunki hum kehte hai hindi mein bohat zyada garmi hai, sham ko barish ho sakti hai. What does it mean? Ki sham ko the air will rise up and it will cause formation of clouds and then give the rainfall. So, this is what is the pressure gradient force. A pressure gradient force is greatest in atmospheric phenomena such as cyclones. Isliye cyclones come with very high speed. Bohat zyada pressure difference hota hai in the cyclone. That is the pressure between temperate cyclone, a tropical cyclone, between the central low pressure and outside high pressure is around 100 to 1000 millibars. 100 millibars ka pressure difference matlab 350 kilometers per hour wind speed. 1000 millibar ka pressure difference matlab 
थाउजेंड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर की विंड स्पीड जो थैंकफुली इंडिया में नहीं आता बट इट कम्स कॉमनली इन यू एस ए एंड यू कॉल दैट फिनोमिना एज टॉर्नेडो टाइफोन्स आर सेम लाइक साइक्लॉन्स दे आर टॉर्नेडोज हैव यू सीन द मूवी ट्विस्टर सो ट्विस्टर देखना नहीं है मूवी सो डोंट राइट सो ट्विस्टर इज टॉर्नेडो आज ही आया है रिपोर्ट टू मच ऑफ स्क्रीन टाइम विल कॉज द brain damage so so this is what is the pressure gradient force that is wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure so based on this let us see what the map we had drawn yesterday that is this is the which belt equatorial low pressure belt 0 to 10 degree 0 to 10 degree i will write this as the belt of doldrums or it is also known as itcz this is subtropical high pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt this is subpolar low or the belt of fronts so i'll write this just as an frontal belt subpolar low or the belt of fronts so before i go further ye hai polar high is the cold increasing day by day so that means are we going to experience temperature inversion soon so that means the fog is going to be very dense very soon so based on this let us see how do the three different types of winds flow wind should flow from subtropical high pressure to equatorial low pressure subtropical high pressure to equatorial low pressure but wind will never flow in a straight line why the winds never flow in a straight line because the second force that affects the wind circulation is coriolis force Now, what is this Coriolis force? Or a rotational force. Earth is rotating. In which direction the Earth is rotating? Earth is rotating from west to east. And see how our Earth is rotating. I am putting my pen. Which direction is it going? it is go it is going to your right hand side or left hand side right. right hand side again earth is rotating ab kaun se direction mein ja raha hai aapke look it is going to your it is going to my left hand side so you will not understand aapke right hand side mein because we are not changing the direction now coriolis force is this force what i have shown you this is how the coriolis force is in acting action any rotating object will have coriolis force any object which moves in the north and south direction including you if you start running very fast you will not go from one point to another in a straight line if you are in the northern hemisphere you will get deflected to your direction right hand side if you are in the southern hemisphere aap straight nahi jaoge you will be getting deflected to the left hand side so this imaginary force is what is known as an coriolis force matlab if india today is planning to launch a missile and suppose it wants to put a missile on russia and if it does not calculate the coriolis force ye missile straight nahi jayegi ye straight agar humne straight bheji missile because the earth is rotating ye jaake norway ya sweden ko uda dega instead of russia so to to if we want to put russia we, we should have coriolis we should calculate the coriolis force so what does the coriolis force says coriolis force says any wind or any cyclone or any ocean current or any plane any rocket including your paper pen plane ghar pe jaake fir se dalo we are in the northern hemisphere it will slightly go towards the right but uske liye it should be properly designed it will go slightly to the right so it says that anything in the northern hemisphere will be deflected to the right hand side and anything in the southern hemisphere will be deflected to the left hand side 
in the direction of its movement. Understand in the direction of the movement. I am again showing you the Coriolis force. This is how the earth is rotating and you can see. Where is deflection on the equator or where I go from the equator? Se. The more far I go from the equator, can you see deflection is greater? The nearer I am to the equator, there is less and less deflection. Equator pe jada deflection nahi hai, but if I go down away from the equator, there is more deflection. Now this is because Coriolis force is inversely proportional to the rotational speed of the earth. Rotational speed of the earth is maximum at the equator and it is minimum at the poles. Bulge sabse zada hai at the equator, rotational speed is maximum at the equator. And therefore, Coriolis force is minimum in the equatorial regions. So, agar koi wind hai in the equatorial regions, it will not deflect, it will move straight. Isi liye, though equatorial regions are very, very warm, tropical cyclone, jis ke liye deflection is necessary. Wind hai se gol ghumni chahiye from the top, they do not originate at the equator. But let us see how this Coriolis force is acting. The Coriolis force does not act straight. The wind will never go straight, it will get deflected to the right hand side of its direction. And therefore, its right hand side is See the direction of arrow, face in the direction of arrow and see its right hand side. So it will get deflected to the right hand side. What does the Coriolis force say in the southern hemisphere? It will get deflected to the left hand side. So put yourself face the way I, the board and that is which is your left hand side now. So it will get deflected to the left. Because this is facing your direction. This wind was facing my direction, my right hand side. That means you should put yourself in the direction of arrow. And therefore the wind will, instead of going straight, it will get deflected to the left. So, this winds have direction from east to west and therefore this winds are known as easterlies. Understanding? Why easterlies? Because what is the direction of this winds? This wind is from east to west and therefore this winds are known as easterlies. But because older time mein this winds, kali maine dikhaya, UK se US. So you should fight this wind, avoid going to US, come into the belt of doldrums, then fight this winds and then coming to India is easy. Therefore, this winds are known as trade winds. Fine. So this is easterlies or trade winds. We'll have you understood this? Because sabse zada confusion ye hai. Why? Because you think ki aap jis direction mein ho, that is right and left, not your direction. The direction in which the wind is moving. The second wind which should go is from subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt. Subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt. But what does the Coriolis force say? It will get deflected to the right hand side. So right hand side is facing you. So as a result of this, it will get deflected to the left hand side facing me, my left hand side or arrow konsa direction mein. So it will get deflected to the left and therefore this winds are known as westerlies. Hamara monsoon westerlies hai ya easterlies? Are we located between 30 to 35 to 60 to 65? Yeah, we are between 10 to 30. We are between 10 to 30. So, our is me easterlies. Hona then, how do we get the rainfall? Southwest monsoon, how does India? Mein? 
बिकॉज रिमेंबर इन क्लाइमेट इंडिया इज अ स्पेशल केस पूरे वर्ल्ड में देर इज वेस्टर्नली जेट स्ट्रीम इंडिया के ऊपर देर इज ईस्टर्नली जेट स्ट्रीम पूरे वर्ल्ड में देर आर ट्रेड विंड्स इंडिया में स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ विंड है दैट इज मॉनसून पूरे वर्ल्ड में टॉर्नेडोज हैं इंडिया में टॉर्नेडोज नहीं है अंडरस्टैंडिंग इंडिया के लिए लॉ डज नॉट अप्लाई सो इन क्लाइमेट इंडिया के लिए देर आर स्पेशल केसेस हियर पूरे वर्ल्ड में ऑल द ओशंस आर कनेक्टेड टू द आर्टिक एंड अंटार्टिक इंडियन ओशन इज द ओनली ओशन विच इज नॉट कनेक्टेड टू द आर्टिक एंड अंटार्टिक so this rules do not apply this rules will apply india mein special case hai that is this winds will change the direction after crossing the equator they will become then southwest monsoon but these are westerlies the third kind of wind which is present it is a cold wind it should go from polar high to subpolar low but being in the northern hemisphere it will get deflected to the right इस विंड का आप अभी कमाल देखोगे इन सम डेज ये जो ब्लू कलर के विंड है इट विल स्टॉप एंटायर यूएसए फॉर थ्री टू फोर डेज इट विल कवर एंटायर यूएसए विथ थिक स्नो तीन से चार फीट स्नो पूरा बंद हो जाएगा यूएसए इंक्लूडिंग न्यूयॉर्क इंक्लूडिंग वॉशिंगटन वाई बिकॉज विंटर्स में दिस विल बिकम स्ट्रॉगर इसको पिछले साल ट्रंप ने कहा था बॉम्ब साइक्लॉन उसने कहा था यू आर सेइंग यूएसए यहाँ पे बंद है दिस वाज ट्रम्प का स्टेटमेंट दैट पीपल आर सेइंग ग्लोबल वार्मिंग यूएसए में देर इज अ कूलिंग हैपनिंग सो वी आर विड्रॉइंग फ्रॉम पेरिस एग्रीमेंट सो दिस वाज द विंड व्हिच मेड यूएसए विड्रॉ फ्रॉम द पेरिस एग्रीमेंट इज सेइंग कहाँ पे ग्लोबल वार्मिंग वी आर तो अंडर थिक कवर ऑफ स्नो सो दिस इज द विंड दैट इज द दिस इज नोन एज ईस्टरलीस बट टू अवॉइड द कन्फ्यूजन we will call this as polar easterlies similarly high pressure to low pressure but it will get deflected to the left your left sorry and this are the polar easterlies so this is how coriolis force results into formation of different wind system and because of the coriolis force there are different type of climatic conditions in the world for example agar ye wind straight jaati to koi farak nahi padta but ye garam winds hai which originate between 30 to 35 and goes to 60 to 65 matlab they originate somewhere near india and they go near uk making the climate of uk hotter than the climate which should be present at the latitudes you will understand this over the period of time that is this lecture and tomorrow's lecture will be highly linked have the highest concentration level in this lectures because winds agar nahi samajh mein aaya to baad mein nahi samajh mein aata this is linked to monsoon this is linked to entire environment and ecology that is jab tak abhi hum rainfall khatam nahi karenge all this will be linked to environment and ecology also climate change etc so understood this is the second force that is the coriolis force can i call coriolis force as the deflective force yes the coriolis force as a deflective force now wind is a mass of air and because it is a mass of air if the air is lighter warm air is lighter when it is moving on the surface will the it have friction with the surface yes, yes. koi bhi air when it is moving wind when it is moving on the surface wind and air mein farak hai wind is horizontal movement of air advection air can move vertically also and horizontally also so that is the common mistake we do is aapne wind upar jayegi kaise bataya wind nahi upar jayegi kya upar jayega air wind will always move from horizontally so the third force that affects the rotation that is the wind is the simple force that is the frictional force what does what will this frictional force do this frictional force will 
will slow down the speed of the wind. It will slow down the speed of the wind. So which wind is denser, colder or warmer wind? Colder wind. So you can see nowadays, frictional force is there and wind is so slow that you do not feel any wind movement. Yehi summer sane though, there will be proper wind movement going on. Understanding this? So frictional force. And the fourth force, which is not that important, is <coughs> Gravitational force. What will this gravitational force do? The gravitational force will try to bring the wind or the air which is in the upper part of the mountain downwards. Agar upar ki air the cold hai, it is trying to pull it down. Himalayas mein jab snowfall hota hai, it is trying to pull the wind's air down to the great plains. That is the gravitational force. So again gravitational force will affect which wind? Colder or denser? Colder or lighter? Uh, sorry, more colder wind, not because it is denser, not the warmer winds. But which are the two most important force? Pressure gradient force and the gravity, the Coriolis force. Understood these two forces? Abhi, superficially, we are going to do each and every force in detail. Ab. Understood the concept? Iske piche ga? So, factors that affect the movement of air circulation, not just wind. Factors that affect the movement of air circulation. Factors that affect the movement of air circulation, including the winds. You can refer page number 90 of NCRT 11th. Go home and read this page. Page number 90. Saat class ke saati NCRT khatam kar do. Dekhni ki zarurat nahi padegi baad mein. So first. Pressure gradient force. Pressure gradient force. Wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Greater the pressure gradient, greater the pressure gradient, greater will be the velocity of the winds. Greater will be the velocity of the winds. Pressure gradient matlab difference. Therefore, therefore. The wind velocity is greater. Wind velocity is greater in the tropical and subtropical disturbances. Tropical and subtropical disturbances, such as consequence of tropical disturbances such as tropical cyclones, right? Tropical cyclones, tornadoes, dust storms, thunderstorms. Then, then, than temperate disturbances or than temperate cyclones. Ek ek statement prelims ke liye important hai than temperate cyclones. Than temperate cyclones. Extra tropical or temperate ek hi hai. You have written wrong. Than the temperate cyclones. Than the temperate cyclones than the temperate cyclones. We are not doing temperate cyclones than the temperate cyclones. Now ask, tell me one thing. Is global warming increasing? Global warming effect will be seen in the countries such as India, right? 
True or false? There will be more warming. And because there will be more warming, 2018 mein warming has increased to such an extent that this year in India mein dhul thi, dust storms. Why? Because we are becoming a stronger low pressure. And because we are coming, becoming a stronger low pressure, wind from the surrounding region is coming towards Delhi. But Delhi mein, because of warming moisture in the air, mein, it has evaporated. And therefore, dust storm. This was the question in GS. Mein. Account for the phenomena of dust storms which is occurring, which was seen in some parts of North India this year. This year, dhul thi baut. Dust storm was there in the month of April and May. Fine. Understanding why? Because low pressure hai, to wind comes with great speed. Wind comes with great speed, to dhul leke aati hai because we are surrounded by deserts, aravalis, etc. And as a result of this, when it Delhi mein aati hai, or when it comes to the Great Plains of India, jahan pe due to global warming, there is no moisture left. So, barish nahi hoti, it results into formation of dust storms. Or jab proper phenomena tha, when the normal phenomena was thunderstorms. Matlab, rainfall hona chahiye tha. But aaj kal rainfall nahi ho hai, because there is no moisture left. Why there is no moisture left? Too much of heating will cause evaporation of the moisture that is present in the atmosphere. So, this is what are the tropical, this are what is the pressure gradient force, a difference. So, can I say in simple words, pressure gradient force is directly proportional to the wind velocity or wind velocity is directly proportional to pressure gradient? Can I say wind velocity is directly proportional to the pressure gradient force? Greater the pressure gradient force, greater will be the wind velocity. Fine? Next point. NCRT ka line hai. So, write down. The pressure gradient force, pressure gradient force, normally, normally, acts perpendicular to acts perpendicular to isobars isotherms imaginary lines Det determining temperature Ab temperature will determine pressure so instead of degree Celsius, if I have changed the value there, then will not will not the same isotherms will become isobars? Getting it? Isobars means pressure. Isotherms means temperature. So, maybe at this is isotherm, 21 degree Celsius, and this is an isotherm of somewhere around 26 degree Celsius. Now, if instead of temperature, if I rub this value and write pressure, 900 millibars and 1000 millibars. So, does not become isobar. The lines determining equal pressure. So, what is the law of wind? High pressure to low pressure. Kaise jai ki wind? Wind always goes from high pressure to low pressure. Don't write anything. So, can I say the direction of the wind is always perpendicular to the isobars? Wind direction, yeh hai isobar, yeh hai isobar. The wind direction is always perpendicular to the isobar. Wind will always flow from high pressure to low pressure. More or less perpendicular to the isobar. Yeh isobar hai of high pressure, yeh isobar hai of low pressure. So, pressure gradient force normally acts perpendicular to the isobars. In other words, you can note, in other words, Normal winds, normal winds flow perpendicular to the isobars. Normal winds flow perpendicular to the isobars. Flow perpendicular to the isobars. So, abnormal wind is hai? There means, one wind is perpendicular to isobar nahi jati. 
A, this is the same statement, it means normally a wind flows perpendicular to the isobars. We will do those winds as jet streams. Jet streams will never flow perpendicular, they will flow parallel, so rest of the things are not important. Understood this? Everyone? Next, Coriolis force. It is an imaginary force. It is an imaginary force. Which impacts, which impacts wind direction, which impacts wind direction, full stop. Kal statement aata hai, Coriolis force influences the direction and the speed of the wind, true or false? Mene speed likhwa hai, no speed, only direction, understood this? So, because I have seen numerous test series, ye statement commonly dete hai and generally students make mistake. They influence only the direction, speed is not influenced. Speed influences Coriolis force, Coriolis force does not influence speed. Understood? Means it is not humanities, Ki it is proper science only in one direction, opposite ni unless it is proved. So, what is proved? Direction ko affect karta hai, speed ko affect nahi karta. But agar speed badega, to rotation badta hai. Matlab, speed agar badega, to Coriolis force badta hai. Coriolis force agar badega, to speed nahi badta. We will do that in cyclones. So, that is why I am saying, take climatology very, very seriously. Yeah? We'll write all this. We'll write all this. It is not affecting speed, it is affecting only direction. Due to Coriolis force, due to Coriolis force, winds, ocean currents, rockets bhi, planes bhi, but hum nahi karenge ye sir. हम सिर्फ ज्योग्राफी लिख रहे हैं यहाँ पे। Winds, ocean currents are deflected to the right. कौन से हेमिस्फीयर में? Northern hemisphere. Are deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere. And to the left in the southern hemisphere. In and to the left in the southern hemisphere. And to the left in the southern hemisphere. Reflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere in the direction of its movement. In the direction of the movement. It is also known as an Ferrell's law. It is also known as an Ferrell's law. It is also known as an Ferrell's law. Ferrell was a person who gave the theory saying that when the wind is blowing and if you stand with your arms outstretched, in the northern hemisphere you will find the right hand side has more pressure than left hand side. Why? In which direction the wind is going? Right hand side. And in the southern hemisphere your left hand side will have more pressure than the right hand side with your back towards the wind. But we don't need GS. Fine? So just remember deflection. Next, Coriolis force. Coriolis force is inversely proportional to the Coriolis force is inversely proportional to rotational speed of the earth. is inversely proportional to the rotational speed of the earth. And therefore, as the rotational speed of the earth is greatest, as the rotational speed of the earth is greatest or is maximum over the equator, 
is maximum over the equator. Coriolis force is zero at equator. Is zero at equator or Coriolis force is minimum in equatorial regions. Grammar ka difference hai. Zero at equator matlab zero degree line pe kya hai Coriolis force? Zero. Equatorial region matlab zero to ten degree so, and zero to ten degree. Waha pe kya hai Coriolis force? Minimum. Minimum. Understanding? ये आपका पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन है So what is the answer? Do you option there? My B and D need there. Yeah, you pay sine put CAPF exam. Don't know option set. What is the right answer? In spite of high temperatures, मतलब tropical cyclones के लिए भी require high temperatures. And दूसरा सिर्फ high temperatures होके फायदा नहीं है. Tropical cyclone देखा है photo में? कैसे गोल घूमती है हवा? Deflection है? या straight जाती है? It is deflection. So deflection के लिए which force is required? Coriolis force. So they are saying that tropical cyclones do not originate. Word is at the equator. So the answer is C. Agar ye hota in the equatorial region, the answer would have been A. So, jaldi jaldi mein kabhi bhi paper solve mat karna. Read each and every option properly. Aur ye hai aise questions jis mein अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स भी मिस्टेक कर लेते हैं बिकॉज़ जल्दी सॉल्व करना होता है सौ क्वेश्चंस 120 मिनट्स यू हैव इनफ टाइम 2012 तक 120 मिनट्स एंड 150 क्वेश्चंस यूपीएससी ने 50 क्वेश्चंस कम किए तो टाइम शुड नॉट बी अ फैक्टर ओनली इनफ टाइम इज़ देयर सो रीड ईच एंड एवरी ऑप्शन सर्कल करो एट दो ऑप्शंस जब आने के बाद देन यू शुड से कि एक्जेक्टली कौन सा राइट है जीरो या मिनिमम सो आंसर इस जीरो फाइन व्हाई बिकॉज़ द ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन्स रिक्वायर डिफ्लेक्शन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन द कोरियोलिस फोर्स एस द कोरियोलिस फोर्स इंक्रीजेस अवे फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर as the Coriolis force increases away from the equator, the westerlies, westerlies in polar and subpolar regions, westerlies in polar and subpolar regions. Start flowing from west to east. Start flowing from west to east. ऐसे नहीं समझ में आएगा. What is the direction of westerlies? 
साउथ वेस्ट टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट सो जैसे जैसे ऊपर जाएंगे तो देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द कोरियोलिस फोर्स बिकॉज इट विल इंक्रीज एंड वेन इट गोज इन द हायर लैटीट्यूड्स दे जनरल दे स्टार्ट नॉट फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम साउथ वेस्ट टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट बट लिटरली फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट दिस इज वॉट द स्टेटमेंट मीन्स सो वहां पर लिखा लिखना ब्रैकेट में रेफर ओशन करंट्स एक ओशन करंट है विच फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट नोन एज वेस्ट विंड ड्रिफ्ट सो वाई द वेस्ट विंड ड्रिफ्ट इज देयर बिकॉज द वेस्टर लीज विल चेंज द डायरेक्शन फाइन विद दिस थर्ड पॉइंट इन द कोरियोलिस फोर्स द कोरियोलिस फोर्स द कोरियोलिस फोर्स always acts perpendicular to the pressure gradient force the coriolis force always acts perpendicular to the pressure gradient force always acts perpendicular to the pressure gradient force pressure gradient force high pressure to low pressure This is the pressure gradient force का direction, and this is the Coriolis force का direction. It will always act perpendicular. Therefore, wind का final direction will be in between. Balance of pressure gradient force and the Coriolis force. Let remember, direction of the wind is always influenced by numerous forces. Understanding this? सिर्फ इतना फैक्ट समझा कि द कोरियोलिस फोर्स विल ऑलवेज एक्ट परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट फोर्स ये फैक्ट है याद रखना क्यों फैक्ट है वेलोसिटी क्यू है यू कैन नॉट से दैट दिस इज अ फैक्ट ग्रेविटी क्यू है सो रिमेंबर दैट इट इज एन फैक्ट है कोरियोलिस फोर्स का डायरेक्शन इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट फोर्स होप सो जीएस में हमें जरूरत ही ना पड़े इसकी बट पढ़ने वाली है इन अगेन वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग द ग्राउंड फॉर जेट स्ट्रीम्स ये सारे तब जरूरत पड़ेंगे फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स थर्ड नेक्स्ट फोर्स इज द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स विल एक्ट ऑन विच विंड्स अपर एयर या लोअर एयर सर्फेस विंड्स सो दिस एक्ट ऑन द सर्फेस विंड्स दिस एक्ट ऑन द सर्फेस विंड्स this acts on the surface winds and causes decrease in the speed of the surface winds causes decrease in the speed of and surface winds so frictional force will affect what speed of the wind friction land pe zyada hai ya water pe zyada hai land phase so the speed of the wind is always greater in on the sea or water bodies isliye you must have seen numerous youtube ka videos jisme there is a wind which causes waves to rise and fall and which causes the ship to rise and fall jitna deep sea utna stronger will be the wind kyunki frictional force is very less fine so first point first sub point as the frictional force is less over the water bodies as the frictional force is less over the water bodies the speed of wind is greater over the large water bodies the speed of wind is greater over the large water bodies speed of wind is greater over the large water bodies point number 2 point number 2 why the name jet stream can someone tell me me q is winds ka naam hai jet streams 
मैंने बताया था ये क्लास में इट वॉज डिस्कवर ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर पर्ल हार्बर बॉम्बिंग पता है आपको वो डेट द पर्ल हार्बर बॉम्बिंग जापान एंड देन यू एस ए रिटेलिएटेड ऑन जापान सो वेन द यू एस ए वॉज रिटेलिएटिंग सपोज दिस इज अ जापान एंड दिस इज यू एस ए एंड बीच में इज द पैसिफिक ओशन वेन द यू एस ए का फाइटर पायलट जेट्स वेर गोइंग टू बॉम्ब जापान दे सॉ दैट दे आर स्टेशनरी इन द एयर That is speedometer is full. Speedometer दिखा रहा है 600 हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर पर दे आर स्टेशनरी वो घूम ही नहीं रहे एंड वेन दे केम बैक वेन सम हाउ दे रीच जापान सो वेन दे केम बैक अगर तीन घंटे लगने हैं तो दे केम विथ इन वन एंड हाफ आवर दैट दे केम विथ द डबल द स्पीड उससे पता लगा कि देर इज अ वेरी हाई वेलासिटी विंड विच ब्लोज इन द अपर एटमोसफियर विद द स्पीड ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर एंड दैट विंड इज नोन एज जेट स्ट्रीम नाउ आई एम आस्किंग यू वाई जेट स्ट्रीम का स्पीड इज सो हाई गॉट एन आंसर हियर विच फोर्स इज एबसेंट इन द अपर एटमोसफियर फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स फाइन सो यू कैन टेक डाउन as the frictional force is absent in the upper atmosphere as the frictional force is absent in the upper atmosphere jet streams flow with very high velocity jet streams flow with very high velocity jet streams flow with very high velocity and the last force is gravitational force which is no, not at all important towards the central so centrifugal centripetal towards the center kaun sa force attract kar raha hai centripetal so the last force is gravitational or centripetal force centripetal force right centripetal force rather than gravitational force it will attract the winds it will attract the winds towards a low pressure center from all sides it will attract the winds towards low pressure center from all sides koi zyada important nahi hai cyclones ke liye important hai ek low pressure center from all sides agar ye center mein low pressure hai बाकी सब साइड से विंड्स विल बी पुल टूवर्ड्स दिस लो प्रेशर सेंटर फाइन एंड नाउ विल डू द विंड्स ईस्ट टू वेस्ट ईस्ट टू वेस्ट सो विंड का कोई भी नाम द क्वेश्चन इज वाई द नेम्स आर ईस्टर्लीज एंड वेस्टर्लीज याद रखना विंड का कोई भी नाम इज इन द डायरेक्शन वेर इट ओरिजिनेट्स नॉट वेर इट फ्लोज सो वी से कि विंटर्स में इंडिया में देर आर गोइंग टू बी वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस विच कॉजेस रेनफॉल क्यों कहाँ से आ रही है इंडिया में ये एयर वेस्ट से आ रही है एंड देयर फॉर वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस विंड का नाम इज ऑलवेज गिवन ऑन द नेम ऑफ एरी डायरेक्शन वेर इट ओरिजिनेट्स नॉट वेर इट फ्लोज अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सो ईस्टरलीज वो नहीं कि नॉर्थ ईस्टरलीज साउथ ईस्टरलीज ऐसे नहीं वो स्पेसिफिकली जब आंसर लिखेंगे तो साउथ ईस्टरलीज आजकल कौन सा मानसून चल रहा है इंडिया में नॉर्थ ईस्ट मानसून अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस बाय द नॉर्थ ईस्ट क्योंकि ये विंड इज ओरिजिनेटिंग इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न डायरेक्शन सो द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मानसून so take down the primary circulation primary circulation or global winds or global winds these are permanent winds which blow across the continents these are permanent winds which blow across the continents
and सबसे पहले is the trade winds. What are the points you can write? Diagram है आपके सामने. Tell me the points. Points मतलब they originate कहाँ से? So where do they originate? So that they originate from the optional के student छोड़ के कोई और भी answer तो optional वाले मत बोलो. So they originate from the subtropical high up to equatorial low. Fine. Why they originate at the subtropical high? Kali dekha because this is the dynamically induced high pressure belt. Understanding this? Now here is the. So if this is a land. Imaginary land, and if this is an equatorial belt, and if this is a subtropical high pressure belt, this is a subtropical high pressure belt. So, can I say this is the top view? This is how the trade wind will be blowing. Fine. And then after coming at the equatorial low pressure belt, क्या होगा? It will rise up, and then again it will come and settle down. That means this is the wind which will be blowing. From subtropical high to equatorial low, after coming at equatorial low, it will rise up and it will go back to its original position. Subtropical high to equatorial low, rise up and go back to its original position. So, this is our land, surrounded by what? Imaginary land. Then it will be surrounded by what here? Water or ocean. So I am drawing it here. We are taking a cross-sectional view. This is our land, and it is surrounded by the water body. And this is how the trade winds are. Fine. I say it is going to trade winds. If you, this is the top view, this is the cross-sectional view. Understanding, everyone? So can I say they are coming from sea towards the land, yes. and यहाँ पे they are coming from land towards the sea. Getting it or not? Sea towards the land, and when they go interior, land towards the sea. Now when they are coming from sea towards the land, in this hotter regions, will they be full of moisture? Yes. Evaporation होगा, and as soon as they come on the land, will they give rainfall? Excess of moisture will be given out. And इसीलिए because they give the rainfall, what will be there? There will be trees or forest. जैसे अंदर जाएंगे, is there any new source of moisture for them? Is there any new source of addition of moisture? कोई है moisture देने के लिए? समंदर है बीच में? Rivers are not at all important source of water in geography. हमारे लिए है humans के लिए. But geography में rivers are 0.0001 percent source of water. Remember, so they don't have much importance on climate, weather. Rivers से ज़्यादा पानी सारे human beings और animals के body में है. जितनी भी rivers है world में उससे ज़्यादा पानी हमारे body में है. उससे ज़्यादा पानी soil में है as a soil moisture. So rivers are not at all important source of moisture. So as we go inside, if there is no excess moisture, क्योंकि यहाँ पे कोई lake भी नहीं बनाया, will the rainfall decrease? Yes. So the height of the trees will decrease or not? Yes. And ultimately, rainfall इतना कम होगा कि tree cannot grow. So when the tree cannot grow, what will grow? Grasses. So the trees will give rise to grasses. And ultimately, the grasses also cannot grow, and then nothing will grow here. So we have done yesterday that deserts are always located on the western coast of the continents. Getting it? So Bay of Bengal से हवा अंदर आती है. Bengal में it gives rainfall. Bihar में it gives rainfall. UP में it gives rainfall. Delhi आते आते there is no moisture left. So Delhi has semi-arid climate and Rajasthan में the entire moisture is gone. So the moist Rajasthan is a Desert. Understanding this, so we call this as this type of climate as Mount. 
मॉनसून और डेसिडियस बायोम जैसे वी गो इनसाइड मॉनसून और डेसिडियस बायोम गिव्स राइज टू ग्रास लैंड बट वॉट आर दिस ग्रास लैंड वी आर इन द ट्रेड विंड इज द विंड ऑफ ट्रॉपिक्स और टेम्परेट्स ट्रॉपिक्स सो वी हैव ट्रॉपिकल ग्रास लैंड और वॉट इज टेक्निकली नोन एज सवाना एंड देन सवाना के बाजू में वी हैव हॉट डेजर्ट वी हैव हॉट डेजर्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड so you understand how the winds affect our life rainfall here every every day kyunki wind is forced to go up so tropical evergreen forest uske upar rainfall jab jab wind hamari taraf aayegi so deciduous mai what is the difference between evergreen and deciduous evergreen the trees do not have to worry about moisture loss of moisture and isliye they can grow throughout the year because they can grow throughout the year they are having leaves because two things are necessary for life heat and humidity heat and humidity available throughout the year because it is in belt of doldrums low pressure so tropical evergreen forest heat and humidity is available only in seasons and isliye jab cold season aata hai to heat nahi hai india jaise climate mein humidity bhi nahi hai so how will trees conserve the humidity by shedding the leaves बिकॉज लीव्स में से दे आर लूजिंग द वॉटर थ्रू इवेपो ट्रांसपिरेशन सो जो भी ट्रीज दैट शेड द लीव्स आर नोन एज पथ झड़ इन हिंदी और डेसिडियस इन इंग्लिश इंग्लिश इज अ डेसिडियस इज अ इंग्लिश वर्ड फॉर पथ झड़ सो वी आर आर आवर ट्रीज हैविंग लीव्स नो लीव्स कब आएंगे जब सूरज वापिस आ जाएगा जब गर्मी आ जाएगी मार्च में सो लीव्स आएंगे फ्लावर्स आएंगे तो हम होली सेलिब्रेट करते हैं क्योंकि वो कलरफुल दिखने लग जाता है अंडरस्टैंड आवर सीजन एंड ट्रेडिशन होली इसलिए नहीं सेलिब्रेट करते क्योंकि कृष्णा एंड राधा यूज टू प्ले होली सो दैट आर माइथोलॉजीज होली इसलिए सेलिब्रेट करके करते हैं हम यहाँ पे होली सेलिब्रेट करते हैं इन टेम्परेट लैटिट्यूड दे सेलिब्रेट स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग इज देयर बिगेस्ट फेस्टिवल बिकॉज द सन विल कम बैक and the trees will start growing the leaves will look very fresh the flowers will be very fresh so this is what is the spring season then as we go inside we have savanna grasslands now these are the tropical grasslands tropical grasslands are slightly different from the temperate grasslands this tropical grasslands are very tall because rainfall is not enough for trees to grow but rainfall is much much greater than the temperate latitudes jitna zyada heat utna zyada evaporation utna zyada rainfall so it is more than enough for grasses to grow and therefore the grasses will grow to such an extent that the average height of the grasses is 10 to 11 feet our height is 6 feet meri to 6 feet bhi nahi so so the grasses will be having 10 to 11 feet and we'll call this grasses as elephant grasses because they are very tall and because of the elephant grasses these are tropical grasses matlab they have the grasses also have to worry about the loss of moisture right and therefore to reduce the loss of moisture grasses will undergo modification koi bhi tree to conserve the moisture has to either shed the leaves और ट्रांसफर दैट लीव्स सरफेस एरिया कम करेगा एंड द लीव्स विल गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू थॉर्स सो दिस कैक्टस देखा है डज इट हैव लीव नो इट हैज थॉर्स दिस इज वॉट वी विल कॉल इट एज अ जेरोफाइटिक दैट इज इसी साल यहां से क्वेश्चन था वॉट आर द एडेप्टेशन ऑफ जेरोफाइटिक वेजिटेशन कन्वर्जन ऑफ लीव इन टू थॉर्स क्या है बेसिक लॉजिक बेसिक लॉजिक इज रिडक्शन इन द सर्फेस एरिया सो टू अवॉइड द लॉस ऑफ मॉइस्चर so the leaves are converted into thorns the grasses are not soft because soft grasses will be there only if there is moisture grasses are very hard very wiry they are having thorns and because of this savanna type of climate has a dominance of carnivorous animals not herbivorous animals understanding this kyunki cattle cannot eat soft grasses 
कैनॉट इट हार्ड ग्रासेस कैटल के लिए यू रिक्वायर सॉफ्ट ग्रासेस हार्ड ग्रासेस आर इधर टेकन बाय शीप गोट और गोट के इको टाइप्स ना व्हाट आर दिस इको टाइप्स एनवायरमेंट इकोलॉजी में बताऊंगा मतलब सेम स्पीसीज बट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ जेनेटिक वेरिएशन सो यहाँ पे इट इज डोमिनेटेड बाय कार्निवरस एनिमल सो यू सी समाना हैज लायंस समाना हैज चीता समाना हैज लेपर्ड समाना हैज हैज हाइनास and there and because it is dominated by the carnivorous animals the herbivorous animals to survive nature herbivorous animal bhi dega because carnivorous nahi to khayenge kya sher aise karega ki nahi abhi deer nahi hai i will start eating grass <laughs> no so herbivorous animals are there but they are having two characteristics either they know how to fight or they know how to run so in the savanna grasslands speed or strength matters strength rhinos strength elephants the largest mammal on the earth african elephant fine having very big ears kyun so that us ko sher ki awaaz dur se sunai de nahi because it is a hot region it should cool it down understanding or the other kind of that is because the trees are there and there are some animals which cannot eat the grasses so they will be having tender leaves they can eat only soft leaves soft leaves thode bahut trees at the top giraffe is sal wo question ye ek hindu mein article tha now they have solved the riddle behind the long neck of giraffe aisa now they have not solved ye bahut pehle se hai ye 3 saal pehle bhi mai क्लास में बताता था कि जीराफ इज हैविंग और ये सबको पता है लॉन्ग नेक बिकॉज इवोल्यूशन रोज गर्दन ऊंची ऊंची करते हैं द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन हैज गॉट लॉन्ग नेक एंड दैट इज जीराफ और द डोंकीज इन दिस रीजन विल हैव स्पेशल स्ट्राइप्स पैरल स्ट्राइप्स ऑफ द कलर ऑफ द ग्रासेस डार्क ब्राउन सो दे कैन हाइड एंड दैट इज जेब्रा जेब्रा इज अ काइंड ऑफ एन डोंकी ऑफ अफ्रीका so they will have zebra or you will have different kind of deer which will run and that is what is the savanna grasslands there is no cattle in this why savanna grassland important because savanna grassland is facing the first change due to global warming desertification this grasslands are now becoming increasing desert understanding this region and then yahan pe aate aate we are having a desert so this are the climates of the trade wind belt and we study this in detail in environment ecology by the name biomes savannas are facing more and more drought because ek to hum trees ko destroy kar rahe so the desert wind ki speed bad rahi hai desert particles are deposited there and there is increasing desertification इथोपिया और वो सब रीजन इसलिए तो वहाँ पे इतना ड्रॉट है हाँ यहाँ पे नोमेडिक ट्राइब्स ही रहेंगे समान आ गई ग्रेजिंग के लिए वहाँ पे कैटल ही नहीं है सी यहाँ का ट्राइब्स दिस इज इन द न्यूज व्हाट यू सी इज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जोन ऑफ अफ्रीका it is an conflict zone of africa not because of not because of this natural condition it is a conflict zone in africa because savanna is a transition zone in africa between this is the savanna region jisko black aapne dekha hoga written in atlas as sahel This is a conflict zone in Africa because नीचे Christianity है ऊपर Islam है and बीच में tribal culture है so both of them are trying to convert them into each other so हमेशा conflicts are due to religious reasons not due to natural natural रीजन से conflict इतना ज़्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ता so the people from here are illegally migrating into Europe because of illegal migration because europe ki migration policy is such that it allows every anyone to come and take asylum there jo britain nahi chahta tha isliye brexit 
कैन यू लिंक दिस सो इसलिए ब्रेक्सिट ब्रेक्सिट क्यों हुआ एक तो वन ऑफ द रीजन वॉज कि ब्रिटेन डिड नॉट वॉन्ट द ऑल द माइग्रेंट्स टू कम एंड सेटल इन ब्रिटेन अगर वो ई यू का मेम्बर होता तो ई यू की पॉलिसीज उसको इट वुड हैव फॉलोड सो इट डिड नॉट वॉन्ट दैट एंड यू कैन सी उसका इम्प्लीकेशन फ्रांस में राइट्स हैपनिंग द सेम थिंग विल हैपन आफ्टर सम डेज इन जर्मनी बिकॉज इफ द पॉपुलेशन का प्रेशर इंक्रीजेज देर विल बी प्रेशर ऑन रिसोर्सेज एंड इफ देर इज अ प्रेशर ऑन रिसोर्सेज देर विल ऑलवेज बी अ सन ऑफ सॉइल कंसेप्ट कमिंग अप कि रिसोर्सेज शुड फर्स्ट बिलोंग टू द लोकल पीपल दैट इज वॉट इज द सन ऑफ सॉइल द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग इन मुंबई सन ऑफ सॉइल द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग इन यू एस ए Indians and are going and working at five thousand dollars, which is a very good salary for us. But unke liye it is a very less salary. Unki salary shuru hoti hai from sixty thousand dollars by the law. So outsourcing through internet, which is against Trump. Trump ki policy is against that. So it's all based on the optimum population, population versus resources. Have you understood this? So you can take trade winds. All this is science region. क्योंकि वहां पे इतनी पॉवर्टी है कुछ सो यू कैन टेक ट्रेड विंड्स दिज आर द विंड्स दिज आर द विंड्स विच ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम सब ट्रॉपिकल हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट फ्रॉम सब ट्रॉपिकल हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट टू द इक्वेटोरियल लो प्रेशर बेल्ट to the equatorial low pressure belt in both northern and southern hemisphere in both northern and southern hemisphere northern and southern hemisphere next point the trade winds are onshore the trade winds are onshore on the eastern coast of the continents trade winds are on shore on shore on the eastern coast of the continents on shore means from sea towards the land on shore on the eastern coast of the continents and therefore give heavy rainfall heavy rainfall supporting supporting tropical deciduous climate or biome while they are offshore on the western coast of the continents they are offshore on the western coast of the continents and hence 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 they do not give rainfall hence they do not give rainfall ऑन द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट क्योंकि कोई भी ऑफ शोर विंड रेनफॉल नहीं देगी हमेशा ऑन शोर विंड रेनफॉल देगी दिस लॉ अप्लाइज एनी वेयर साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून ऑन शोर है ऑफ शोर है ऑन शोर नाउ इट इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून ऑन शोर है ऑफ शोर है ऑफ शोर एक्सेप्ट तमिलनाडु सो so, कहाँ पे रेनफॉल होने वाला है अभी कोरोमंडल कोस तमिलनाडु चेन्नई विल एक्सपीरियंस फ्लडिंग ऑन शोर एंड ऑफ शोर वाला कंसेप्ट द ट्रांजिशन जोन बिटवीन 
the hot deserts the transition zone between the hot deserts and the tropical monsoon biome and the tropical monsoon biome is known as savanna grasslands <coughs> monsoon biome is known as savanna grasslands is known as savanna grasslands or tropical grassland biome savanna grasslands or the tropical grassland biome सी अगर यही क्वेश्चन अब 150 वर्ड्स में आता है तो क्या करोगे एड एक्स्ट्रा लाइन्स दैट इन द नदर्न हेमिसफियर दे आर फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट टू साउथ वेस्ट इन द सदर्न हेमिसफियर दे आर फ्रॉम साउथ ईस्ट टू नॉर्थ वेस्ट फाइन एक एक्स्ट्रा एक पॉइंट जो बाद में समझ में आएगा इट इज सेड दैट साउथ वेस्ट मानसून ऑफ इंडिया इट इज सेड दैट द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून ऑफ इंडिया are trade winds from the southern hemisphere are the trade winds from the southern hemisphere we'll do this point later on are trade winds from the southern hemisphere Mr. Lees, now what you are going to write originates from subtropical high pressure to polar subpolar low pressure belt, not frontal belt, subpolar low pressure belt. Why they originate? Because of a dynamically induced pressure belt. Now this winds are warm winds or cold winds. 30 to 35 के पास कैसा होगा temperature? This winds are warm winds. As this winds are warm winds, where they are ending 60 to 65 degree latitudes. Now, just imagine its first practical implication. This is Europe. UK, and this is what is the westerlies which are coming. That is. फाइन यहां पे समंदर है वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट दिस इज द नॉर्थ सी अटलांटिक ओशन और द नॉर्थ सी सो कैन आई एंड विच इज दिस कंट्री दिस इज ब्रिटेन दिस पार्ट ऑफ यूरोप इज फ्रांस जर्मनी पोलैंड दैट इज France, Germany, Poland, and I'll call this part of Europe as Western Europe. Now, Western Europe ki khasiyat ye hai that summer temperature of Western Europe is 21 degree Celsius, and winter temperature of Western Europe is average is 4 degree Celsius. In this latitude, summer temperature is less. But in this latitude, the average summer temperature is 
16 degrees Celsius and the average winter temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. So, can I say the summers are not very hot and the winters are not very cold in this type of climate? Q warming effect of westerlies. So, west European type of climate which is considered to be the best climate for human development for human health has its origin due to the warming effect of the westerlies and this it is this westerlies we will see which will take the gulf stream that is the warm ocean current in this direction. Now, because of westerlies the warm ocean currents will go. So, that is one importance of westerlies. Second importance of westerlies is the west British type of climate ki khasiyat kya hai? In England mein jab cricket match hota hai to kabhi bhi cancel ho sakta hai? Why? Barish. We are getting an answer. Onshore winds. This is the region of permanent onshore winds and therefore, this is the region where it can be, it rain can occur any time. Right? Getting this? So, Jesse Westerly is I, Barish. Or, and England is made up of numerous highlands. So, wind is forced to rise up. Or, the British type of climate is best shown by Sherlock Holmes. How is Sherlock Holmes? Is he wearing a long coat? Yes. Why? Cold climate. Is he wearing a hat? Why? Is he wearing a hat? Why? Sun can occur. Hat a cone rain ke liye man. The sun can be there. Is he carrying an umbrella? Yes. Yes. He is wearing a to protect himself from the cold climate and he is carrying an umbrella also. That is what is the British type of climate. In fact, we say Britain has no climate, only weather. Why? Because climate is a constant phenomena. Weather keeps on changing. So, that is because of the westerlies. So, you can take these two points. Originates from westerlies, originates from subtropical high and flows towards flows towards the subpolar low pressure belt and flows towards the subpolar low pressure belt in such a way in such a way that they are onshore on the western coast of the continents in such a way that they are onshore on the western coast of the continents onshore on the western coast of the continents fine with this The British type of a climate, next point, the British type of a climate the British type of a climate or West European type of a climate West European type of a climate owes its origin owes its origin. O W E S O's its origin to the maritime effect Samandar ke paas jo hai to the maritime effect and the warming effect of westerlies and the warming effect of westerlies remember British type of climate means rainfall any time summers not very hot and winters are not very cold. Winters are similar to Delhi ka winters and summers are sim similar to what we are experiencing nowadays. Daytime temperature during the summers 21 degree Celsius. Winters 4 degree Celsius. 0 degree Celsius economy ban. 40 degree Celsius fir se output less. But British type of climate mein summer temperature 2021. Andar jaoge solar degrees or andar jaoge in Russia minus 57 degrees minus 57 degrees but love you cannot even come out of your house because if you come out of house frozen skin is frozen hmm. 
क्योंकि कॉन्टिनेंटल इफेक्ट समर्स आर वेरी हॉट विंटर्स आर वेरी कोल्ड विंटर्स आर माइनस फिफ्टी सेवन एंड समर्स आर थर्टी सेम लाइक इंडिया सो दिस इज वॉट इज द अदर टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट सो नो डाउट यू कैन सी यहाँ पे एक्चुअली ब्रिटिश टाइप वेस्ट यूरोपियन टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट में यू रिमेंबर दैट ह्यूमन बींग्स आर नीदर मेंटली नॉर फिजिकली टायर्ड बिकॉज रिसर्च भी बताता है कि 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द ऑप्टिमम टेम्परेचर फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स टू एग्जिस्ट 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस के आसपास बहुत ठंडी नींद ज़्यादा आएगी बहुत गर्मी थकान ज़्यादा होगी सो ट्रॉपिक्स वी गेट टायर्ड वेरी इजीली इक्वेटोरियल रीजन्स में वी गेट टायर्ड सो इजीली द ह्यूमन बींग्स दे आर टायर्ड सो इजीली दैट दे आर वन ऑफ द शॉर्टेस्ट पीपल अलाइव ऑन द अर्थ पिगमीज ऑफ कॉन्गो बेसिन एमेजॉन रेन फॉरेस्ट में नो ह्यूमन बींग्स कैन सर्वाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज इट इज ऑल डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी कितना हाउ मच आउटपुट कम्स फ्रॉम द हाउ मच एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सर्वाइव सेकेंड सेकेंड पॉइंट देर इज अ डोमिनेंस ऑफ लैंड हियर इन द नदर्न हेमिसफियर बट देर इज नो लैंड इन द सदर्न हेमिसफियर एस्पेशली एट दिस लैटिट्यूड सो यू कैन टेक डाउन इन द सदर्न हेमिसफियर in the southern hemisphere due to the dominance of due to the dominance of water bodies or due to the dominance of water the westerlies the westerlies travel with great speed वेस्टर्ली ट्रैवल विथ ग्रेट स्पीड अभी हमने देखा क्योंकि फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज एबसेंट इन द ऑन द वॉटर बॉडी सो इट इज दिस जोन विच आई एम टॉकिंग लैंड मार्स ही नहीं है एंड दे आर नोन बाई डिफरेंट नेम्स एंड दे आर नोन बाई डिफरेंट नेम्स सच एज रोरिंग फोर्टीज एट 40 डिग्री साउथ लैटिट्यूड नॉट नॉर्थ ओनली साउथ फ्यूरियस फिफ्टीज एट 50 डिग्री साउथ लैटिट्यूड एंड फिर से स्पीड बढ़ जाती है तो श्रीकिंग सिक्सटीज एट 60 डिग्री साउथ लैटिट्यूड शीकिंग सिक्सटीज एट 60 डिग्री साउथ लैटिट्यूड सो क्यों है ऐसा अगर क्वेश्चन आता है तो ड्यू टू डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नेचर ऑफ लैंड एंड वाटर बिटवीन द नदर एंड सदर्न हेमिसफियर दे डू नॉट हैव दैट मच there is no resistance to the flow of the winds and last point can i wrap this part the biomes the biomes will show two types of biomes in westerlies kyunki westerlies ka area you can see is very different 30 to 45 tak middle latitudes and 45 to 65 tak higher latitudes so mid latitudes mein we have what is known as mediterranean type of climate we'll do this as a separate topic now this are on shore from west to east so they will give very heavy rainfall on the western side of the continents fine andar jayenge fir se rainfall kam hogi so there will be again what grasslands so and this grasslands will be but 
वॉट विल बी द ग्रास लैंड इन द मिडल एंड द हायर लैटीट्यूड्स टेम्परेचर इतना है या कम है लाइक ट्रॉपिक्स हाउ इज द टेम्परेचर आफ्टर थर्टी फाइव डिग्री नॉर्थ हाउ इज द टेम्परेचर इन कश्मीर हाउ इज द टेम्परेचर इन द हायर लैटीट्यूड्स इट इज वेरी लेस इट इज कोल्डर एंड देयर फॉर इवेपरेशन होगा वेरी लेस सो विल द ट्रीज हैव टू और द प्लांट्स हैव टू वरी अबाउट द लॉस ऑफ मॉइस्चर नो and therefore yahan ka grasses do not have to worry about the loss loss of moisture and therefore we will call this as temperate grasslands alino yes alin law to kahin pe bhi apply hoga even in the poles what is allen law don't worry so temperate grasslands are known by different names they are prairies kaun se country mein north america they are known as pampas which country Not in Brazil. Brazil is tropical. Brazil जैसे हमारे इंडिया जैसा ही है सेम सिर्फ पॉपुलेशन कम है तो थोड़ा ज़्यादा डेवलपमेंट है दिस इज इन अर्जेंटीना सबसे लार्जेस्ट एरिया स्टेपीज कौन सी कंट्री रशिया यूक्रेन दैट इज अर्स्ट वाइल यूएसएसआर डाउन्स कौन सी कंट्री ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्यू डाउन्स सदर्न एमोस्फेयर में इसलिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया का नेम आर नॉट एट ऑल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड डाउन्स कैंटेबरी ग्रास लैंड कौन सी कंट्री मंचूरिया ग्रास लैंड कौन सी कंट्री सो दिस आर द नेम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ग्रास लैंड दिस आर ऑल द टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड क्यों फेमस है दिस इज द रीजन ऑफ टफ ग्रासेस या सॉफ्ट ग्रासेस सो वॉट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑक्यूपेशन हियर cattle rearing is the most important occupation and this is a flat area of the world so agriculture is the other important occupation but agriculture kiske sath animal husbandry ke sath you had an article in recent some two months ki global warming ka ye sabse bada biggest contributor hai cattle rearing industry kaise why they give out methane i had included this in the test also because cattle engage in a digestive process known as bar bar they chew it so when they chew it in that way they release the methane gas and this is the region of the largest cattle industry in the world so you just remember this for prelims then i will dictate you New Zealand Prairies kiske liye famous hai Wheat and corn or maize Corn matlab maize Maize ki use hota hai maize is a food crop in usa no maize is grown just for artificial fattening of the or quick fattening of the animals that is they will harvest the maize they will have the maize large corn fields they will keep the cattle and the pigs hungry before the harvest season and as soon as the maize comes out they will not worry about cutting they will just leave the hungry cattle and pigs on them 
they will eat large quantity of maize and because of that they will grow very fat within weeks jaise they cross the threshold they are sent to factories and exported so they remember it is used only for cattle field argentina pampas is famous for wheat and meat export stepis ke bahut different uses hai so we we cannot write that stepis usko hame alag se padhna padega because this was once a region of nomadic people which was made into a single country ussr and uske baad this nomadic people belonging to the different tribes they broke down aaj they are known by the tribes are known by the countries kirgs belongs to kyrgyzstan kazakhs belong to kazakhstan tajiks belong to tajikistan uzbeks were tribes now they have uzbekistan ussr jab tha they were a single region mongols belong to mongolia but unka ek specific they had one benefit that they knew how to ride horses so you learn that in history you must have learned the difference between the indian soldiers and the mughals mughals came with horses aryans came with horses they invented wheel kyunki horses tha wheel to ek sath chariot downs are famous for sheep rearing the best quality wool hallmark nick it is an merino wool which comes from this hallmark matlab koi bhi jo cheez pure ho so the best quality wool merino wool comes from australia it is famous for sheep rearing manchuria region is famous for soybean it is famous for oil seed soybean and canterbury plains are famous for which includes chocolate butter cheese milk powder etc everything fine with this what are the depleted grasslands fir ek aur diagram in the higher latitudes so this is mediterranean type this is the temperate grasslands and this is china type means temperate monsoon hamara kaun sa monsoon hai tropical monsoon this is the temperate monsoon type of climate isko kehte hain china type of climate not at all important from exam point of view alag wo alag ki topic hai ek separate question hai mediterranean type not here hum alag se karenge usko matlab yahan pe bhi forest zyada hoti hai deciduous वही तो मैं खा रहा हूँ कि टेम्परेट लॉटिट्यूड्स में मॉइस्चर डज नॉट अफेक्ट क्योंकि इवेपरेशन ही नहीं है डेजर्ट क्यों नहीं है यहाँ पे ये यह डेजर्ट होना चाहिए अगर पर डेजर्ट इसलिए नहीं है बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट ट्रॉपिक्स यू आर गोइंग इन टू द कोल्डर रीजन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डेजर्ट के लिए देर हैज टू बी हॉट डेजर्ट्स के लिए देर हैज टू बी इवेपरेशन इवेपरेशन के लिए देर हैज टू बी हीट लेह लद्दाख के बाद हीट है इतना नो इट इज एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड अगर है तो सिर्फ कोल्ड डेजर्ट्स है देर आर नो हॉट डेजर्ट्स एंड चाइना टाइप में वैसे भी डेजर्ट्स नहीं होंगे बिकॉज यू विल डू लेटर ऑन दो यू नो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट इज फेमस फॉर साइक्लॉन्स विच आर नोन एज 
typhoons. South China Sea is famous for typhoons. That is what. ये सिर्फ प्रिलिम्स के लिए अभी याद रखो ये हमें बाद में डिटेल में करना पड़ेगा मेडिटेनियन इज नॉट दैट इजी वो एक पूरा एक अलग कंसेप्ट है फाइन विद दिस दिस इज जस्ट फॉर प्रिलिम्स यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस इज बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग सेपरेट एज वर्ल्ड ज्योग्राफी यही है वर्ल्ड ज्योग्राफी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट कि नॉर्थ अमेरिका साउथ अमेरिका वो जमाना गया यूपीएससी नहीं पूछता क्वेश्चन उसमें से दे विल आस्क यू बेसिकली क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हेल्थ दिस एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट लास्ट टेन चैप्टर्स ऑफ जी सी लियोंग सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ जी सी लियोंग पार्ट टू नेक्स्ट इन द हायर लैटिट्यूड्स इन द हायर लैटिट्यूड्स नो नो वेस्टर्लीज में इन द हायर लैटिट्यूड्स especially in the belt of fronts especially in the belt of fronts the westerlies are responsible for the westerlies are responsible for year long precipitation westerlies are responsible for year long precipitation not rainfall which is in liquid form during summers and <coughs> solid form that is snow during winters during the winters fine ab yahan pe rainfall so will the trees have to worry about the moisture here rainfall is occurring throughout the year that is the precipitation is occurring throughout the year it is in the solid form during the summer during the winter season that is there is a heavy snowfall and there is a rainfall so the trees do not have to worry about moisture so will they be evergreen yes they will be evergreen but unka shape change ho jayega to survive what they have to worry they have to worry about extremely cold climate because if they are like the trees which are found in the tropics spread up in canopy they will die the snow will fall and there will be frost bite so what are the trees which are found in the higher latitudes the higher latitudes may the trees are conical in shape why they are conical in shape so that whenever there is excess snow fall the flexible branches will stoop down the snow will fall down see the individual leaf of a christmas tree it is pointed downwards so that even a single drop of snow moves down agar wahan pe rehta hai to see the individual leaf of a christmas tree versus leaf of mango tree hamare yahan pe the leaf is very thin wahan pe the leaf is extremely thick why is it so so that it should protect the blood vessels inside from frost bite यहाँ पे वाई आवर ट्रीज आर दिस वे सो दैट दे कैन कैप्चर एज मच एज सनलाइट एज पॉसिबल वहाँ पे द ट्रीज डू नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट सनलाइट दे अबाउट टू वरी अबाउट द फ्रॉस्ट बाइट एंड देयर फॉर दे आर कॉनिकल इन शेप विच इज मोर डार्क ग्रीन इन कलर क्रिसमस ट्री या मैंगो ट्री एक्सट्रीमली डार्क ग्रीन वाई इज इट सो सनलाइट इज वेरी लेस इन दैट रीजन सो जितनी भी सनलाइट है उसको कैप्चर करके इट हैज टू मेक फूड सो दैट इट हैज अ मोर क्लोरोफिल कंटेंट फाइन विद दिस सो टेक इट डाउन हेंस द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन हेंस द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन हैज टू सर्वाइव हेंस द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन हैज टू सर्वाइव द फ्रॉस्ट has to survive the frost 
therefore trees belong to the trees are soft wood coniferous trees underline all the words soft wood coniferous type giving rise to giving rise to evergreen coniferous biome also known as also known as taiga or boreal biome also known as taiga or giving rise to evergreen coniferous biome known as taiga or boreal biome biome boreal biome taiga or boreal biome taiga taiga ke upar kya hai polar easterlies aur wo kaun sa biome hai tundra वहाँ पे वेजिटेशन ही नहीं है बहुत ही कम वेजिटेशन है एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड क्लाइमेट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सो व्हाट इज द की वर्ड हियर सॉफ्ट वुड मतलब हमारा ट्रीज आर हार्ड वुड आई गेस आई हैोल्ड यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू सॉफ्ट वुड माचिस माचिस की तिली सॉफ्ट वुड हार्ड वुड फर्नीचर फर्नीचर कैन नॉट बी मेड आउट ऑफ स्वीडन फ्रॉम फर्नीचर फ्रॉम स्वीडन फर्नीचर आएगा इंडिया से बर्मा से ही और माचिस की तीली इंडिया के इससे नहीं बनेगी द मैच बॉक्स विल बी वेरी हैवी इट हैज टू बी सॉफ्ट वुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पेपर सॉफ्ट वुड सॉफ्ट वुड को जब प्रोसेस किया जाता है उसके अंदर पेपर वुड के साथ पेपर और गम और क्या क्या रॉ मटेरियल डाला जाता है देन इट बिकम्स प्लाईवुड This is plywood. You will not find a hardwood in this in this office because office में से ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा चोरी करके क्या notes लेके जाएगा? But you will find hardwood in your house. Main darwaza that is hardwood. AC नहीं उतारेंगे क्योंकि रास्ते पे है. So understanding we will again do all these things in environment and ecology isme se question hai why lumbering is not an important occupation in the tropical region kyun hardwood hai why lumbering is the most important occupation in the higher latitudes kyunki soft wood hai understanding this lumbering is cutting down of trees क्लाइमेट चेंज होते ही बायोम चेंज हो जाएगा पोलार स्टरलीस द पोलार स्टरलीस एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड विंड्स एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड विंड्स which originate which originate from the polar high pressure belt from the polar high pressure belt are known as polar easterlies are known as polar easterlies polar easterlies are extremely strong kab pressure difference zyada hoga winters mein summers mein kab ye high pressure will be extremely strong high pressure winters mein and therefore winds wahan se zyada powerful hogi so the polar easterlies are extremely strong during the winter season during the winter season
and hence are responsible for for violent and deadly winds violent and deadly winds known as blizzards known as blizzards which affect which affect the southern states of usa q usa q nahi india southern state of usa and india are at the same latitudes because north america is and south america is the only continent south america mein farak nahi padta because antarctica is very far but this is canada yahan se they will originate and come and this is the only continent which does not have east west mountain barrier hamare yahan pe alps फिर हिमालयास हिमालयास के ऊपर ट्रांस हिमालयास कुल्लुन शान अलतुन शान तेन शान सो द विंड्स कैन नॉट रीच बट दैट इज नॉट द कंडीशन इन यूएसए सो इवन इफ द विंड्स ओरिजिनेट इन दिस रीजन दे विल कम अप टू सदर्न स्टेट्स ऑफ यूएसए हमारे यहाँ पे द विंड्स फ्रॉम मंगोलिया एक्सेट्रा आर ब्लॉक्ड बाय हिमालयास दे आर ब्लॉक्ड अदरवाइज इंडिया वुड है कोल्ड डेजर्ट हैड देर बिन नो हिमालय बट यहाँ पे दिस दिस इज वॉट द विंड आई वॉज टॉकिंग इट विल दे आर वॉट इज द वर्ड डेडली दे आर फैटल जैसे लू इज फैटल वैसे दे आर डेडली फाइन विद दिस सो दिस आर ऑल द विंड्स विच विंड्स द परमानेंट विंड्स अब उसके बाद secondary winds so you note down in the bracket somewhere because north and south america do not have east west mountain barrier so monsoon what do you understand by monsoon sabse pehle kya hai monsoon ha huh? what is monsoon what is your idea of monsoon season any other monsoon matlab kya aata hai aapke isme rain or when i say monsoon type of climate means what india is going to experience this year's monsoon has been deficient agar ye news paper mein aata hai aur monsoon is coming is expected to strike india in the normal days matlab wo kaun se monsoon ki baat kar raha hai south west monsoon fine matlab monsoon matlab rain in common man's language yes but geographically no 2015 ka aapka isiliye question bhi tha monsoon matlab kya monsoon means any wind which takes u turn means which experiences seasonal reversal in direction summers mein south west monsoon and winters mein north east कितने डिग्री का डिफरेंस है 
180 degree that means u turn so monsoon basically means winds which experience seasonal reversal in the direction of that is 180 degrees so that is the definition so monsoon means monsoon means winds winds which experiences which experiences seasonal reversal seasonal reversal reversal bracket mein 180 degrees in its direction seasonal reversal in its direction the monsoon type of climate is present in kahan ka hai monsoon type of climate south asia southeast ya south asia south asia southeast nahi south asia mainland southeast asia also known as french east indies which includes laos cambodia vietnam q french indies east indies they were french colonies which was british east indies हम इंडिया म्यांमार उसके बीच में थाईलैंड बफर जैसे इंडिया एंड चाइना के बीच बफर आया नेपाल एंड भूटान नीड नो एन एशियन कंट्री विच वॉज नेवर अंडर एनी ऑक्यूपेशन एंड उसके बाद फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडीज म्यांमार इट विल नॉट कम इन फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडीज इसलिए अलग से लिखना पड़ेगा Thailand, and North Australia, North Australia. North, entire North. इसीलिए हम देखो फिर से नॉर्थ ऑस्ट्रेलिया ये भी पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन है नॉर्थ ईस्ट भी था उसमें ऑप्शन और नॉर्थ भी था सो एंटायर नॉर्थ ऑस्ट्रेलिया नेक्स्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट गेट्स maximum rainfall in 4 to 4 months in a year in 4 months in 4 months kya khasiyat hai monsoon type of climate ki rest of the season is dry hamare yahan pe baki sirf 4 saal 4 mahine mein pure saal bhar ka rainfall rest of the season is dry remember this is not the condition in all each and every part of the world हर एक का क्लाइमेट इज डिफरेंट ऐसे नहीं कि सब जगह जो बारिश हो रही है सिर्फ चार महीने में ही हो रही है जून जुलाई इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट रेनफॉल वाला सीजन ओनली फॉर अस डोंट गो एंड इन जर्मनी सेइंग कि बहुत बारिश होगी छाता लेके जा रहे हो सो दैट इज एन डिफरेंट कंडीशन ब्रिटेन रोज रेनफॉल सिंगापुर डेली रेनफॉल सहारा नो रेनफॉल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सो so that is the monsoon means 4 months of rainfall annual rainfall in 4 months next there is a slight modification there is a slight modification of monsoon type of climate
which is known as tropical marine type which is known as tropical marine type slight modification of monsoon type of climate known as tropical marine type which similar to monsoon type which similar to monsoon type experiences experiences seasonal reversal in wind direction seasonal reversal in wind direction but has but has precipitation throughout the year we are in fall throughout the year precipitation throughout the year or rainfall throughout the year with summer maximum throughout the year with summer maximum कौन से रीजन है ये दिस इज द रीजन क्या सिर्फ डिफरेंस है ए वन इज ड्राई इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द सीजन वन इज मॉइस्ट दोनों में मैक्सिमम रेनफॉल इज ड्यूरिंग समर सीजन दोनों का सिमिलैरिटी इज इट एक्सपीरियंसिस सीजनल रिवर्सल ऑफ विंड्स The only difference is Brazil, Horn of Africa, Caribbean and Madagascar will receive rainfall throughout the year. हमें रेनफॉल होता है ड्यूरिंग द समर सीजन बट बेस दोनों का है सीजनल रिवर्सल ऑफ विंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई इट इज मरीन टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट सो यू सी दोनों रीजन्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्रीकल्चर वेदर इट इज कैरेबियन शुगर केन ब्राजील कॉफी इंडिया टी बेस्ड ऑन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस कैरेबियन मैडगास्कर एंड रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ अफ्रीका साउथ अफ्रीका एक्सेट्रा वाला रीजन अगेन शुगर केन नाउ अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मॉनसून डोंट राइट एनीथिंग क्योंकि हम सिर्फ वन परसेंट करने वाले हैं मॉनसून का टेन परसेंट करने वाले मॉनसून का नाइन्टी परसेंट जेट स्ट्रीम्स के बाद इंडियन जोग्राफी के साथ बचा हुआ मतलब जेट स्ट्रीम्स बचा है अल नीनो बचा है इंडियन ओशन डाइपोल बचा है हीटिंग ऑफ टिबेटियन प्लाटो बचा है उसके बाद मॉनसून समझ में आएगा आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन ओवरऑल आइडिया ऑफ व्हाट इज मॉनसून सो वी हैव हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट इन इंडिया कौन से फोर टेल आवर सीजन क्लाइमेट तो एक ही है हमारा आवर क्लाइमेट इज मानसून टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट कौन सा सीजन है हमारा वेदर सीजन समर्स टेल मी द मंथ मार्च अप्रैल टू मे जून जुलाई कौन सा समर है उसके बाद रेनी कौन सा जून जुलाई अगस्त टिल मिड सेप्टेम्बर उसके बाद ऑटम कौन सा सीजन है लॉजिकल सो विंटर्स सेप्टेम्बर टू अक्टूबर इज विंटर देन ऑटम एनी वन फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया हैज एक्सपीरियंस ऑटम अर्लियर ऑटम नॉर्थ में साउथ में मिड नवंबर 
and fourth obviously winters will be cool only from december to Eastern, Eastern Brazil. Unless asked in the exam specifically, role of Easter jet stream, role of El Nino La Nina, तो जो हम लिखेंगे, जो हम अभी करेंगे, वो ही लिखना है. This is what is monsoon. Rest of the other things are additions on the monsoon. And अभी तक UPSC ने Indian Ocean Dipole prelims के बाहर पूछा नहीं है. Al Nino पूछा है mains में, GS में? I don't. इस साल पूछा है. So Al Nino तक UPSC रुकी हुई है. They have but prelims में they ask you. Mascarene is high. Easterly jet stream का role. Tibetan plateau का role. So but they don't ask you Indian Ocean Dipole. उसका रीजन इस क्योंकि इंडियन ओशन डायपोल रिसेंट फिनोमिना है, नॉट बिकॉज़ यूपीएससी डज़ नॉट वांट टू आस्क यू, अब भी अभी समझ में आया व्हाट इज़ इंडियन ओशन डायपोल, सो मॉनसून यू शुड प्रिपेयर वेरी वेरी प्रॉपरली, हर साल क्वेश्चन आएगा रिगार्डिंग मॉनसून, इधर इन प्रीलिम्स और इन मेन So we will first start with the summer season. Remote नहीं है। पहले summer सोने तो फिर ऐसी winters में बंद कर देंगे। हम first will start with the summer season. What happens in the summer season? The sun धीरे से start shifting towards the north. That is the right now. Where is the sun? Sun is in the southern hemisphere. Right. Though this is the tropic of Capricorn. I'm just using the tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degree south. And this is the 23 and a half degree north. That is the tropic of Cancer. which cuts India into two parts. So 23 and a half degree north and 23 and a half degree south. Now when the sun is in the southern hemisphere, we are having winters. The sun will start gradually shifting to the north in the month of Jan. It will start uska northward journey. I told you Lohdi, we celebrate Lohdi that day or Makar Sankranti to, to celebrate the sun ka journey towards the north. Why? Heat and humidity, both are required for sustaining life in the tropics. As the sun on the 21st of March, sun will come exactly on the equator. We celebrate that as equinox and new year, etc. But after that, sun starts coming back to the northern hemisphere. So we will start, that is the sun will start coming towards the northern hemisphere. As the sun starts coming towards the northern hemisphere, India ka surface starts gradually heating. Gradually heating, jahan pe sun hai, jiske upar, that part will get heated more. So the month of March is having a very good climate in the north of India, but the heating of peninsula starts in the month of March. Understanding why? Where is the sun in the month of March? Over the equator. 
and over the equator. So, North India is nearer to the equator or Indian Peninsula? Peninsula means this part of India. Is it nearer to the equator? Peninsular India is nearer to the equator. And therefore, March is the hottest season in Kerala. Kerala ke liye and in southern part of Karnataka. April becomes very, very hot in the central parts of peninsula, which includes Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra wala region. And in the month of May, the northern parts of the peninsula become very, very hot. There is a gradual heating of the earth's surface. That is in this region of India, that is gradually getting heated up. By the time of May, the entire India becomes very hot. Sabse pehle, Kerala, southern tip, then the central part of India. So you will see Orissa mein heat waves will start in the month of April. Telangana mein heat waves will start in the month of April, late April. Maharashtra, etc. region mein late April. But North India mein, that is north of India's May mein, heat waves will start. Because the sun is taking time to get, the land is taking time to get heated as the sun is gradually covering uska distance. And as a result of this, entire India develops a low pressure zone. This is Himalayas. Entire India develops a low pressure zone. But this low pressure zone is very weak. It is not fully established. Baad mein ye sab likhna, pehle samaj lo what is the concept. The low pressure zone is not fully established. As the low pressure zone is not fully established, we do not have very, very strong wind system over India. And hence, if there are any winds which are present over India, they are in the form of local winds. They are in the form of local winds. How are these local winds? The local winds are in the form, ki Arabian Sea is not that hot, but this in mainland India gets hotter, land versus sea. And isiliye, the southern parts of the peninsula, ye high pressure hai, ye low pressure hai, fine? The land is very cool, very hot while the surrounding Arabian Sea is normally cool and therefore some winds, very weak winds develop from high pressure to low pressure which come from sea to the land. What is present here? Western Ghats. Wind will be forced to rise up and therefore it gives rainfall which are known by different names such as mango showers or blossom showers. Mango showers in Karnataka, blossom showers in Kerala and Karnataka. Why mango showers? Because after this rainfall, humidity increase hoti hai, which helps in early ripening of mangoes. After this showers, humidity increase hoti hai, which helps in early ripening of coffee plants, flowering of coffee plants. And therefore, these are known as mango and this blossom showers. In the North India, in the month of May, there is a presence of westerly jet stream. Abhi hai westerly jet stream? Abhi hai India ke upar westerly jet stream? Yes. Easterly jet stream which comes in the month of October, it is present over India till the month of May. Kahan se hai ye jet stream? That is why I am saying monsoon is too much related. There is a wind which blows in the upper atmosphere, which is the sea, Mediterranean Sea. Black Sea. Caspian Sea and there is a very strong wind which is coming in the upper atmosphere and this is a jet stream which blows from west to east and we will call this as westerly jet stream which due to the presence of Himalayas is bifurcated into two parts. Ek north mein aata hai, ek Himalayas ke south mein aata hai, Shivaliks ke aur ek Himalayas ke beach jata hai. It picks up moisture from the Mediterranean Sea, it picks up moisture from the Black Sea, it picks up moisture from the Caspian Sea. When it goes to the north of the Himalayas, Abhi, winters mein aata hai. It is present from the month of November till the month of May. Just understand. Samaj mein aara hai? Ek upar hawa chal rahi hai, but it is known as westerlies. Kab se hoti hai? From the month of November till the month of May. Abhi jab wo aayegi India mein, to snowfall degi. And you will realize there is a snowfall. Ab jo aayegi wo south mein, wo rainfall degi. Dekhe gaya hai ki nahi rainfall in winters. So westerlies will give rainfall. Kuch din pehle pollution kaise clear hua? 
Did we do we did artificial rainfall or natural uva? From where it is? It is coming from Kahanga Pani Evo. Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea and Caspian Sea ka, it comes to India. Ab in Kashmir mein jo snowfall ho raha hai, se ho raha hai? From where the moisture is there? Indus ka thodi water hai. It is the moisture of Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And this therefore they come to India from western side are known as western disturbances. So in this region, this in the month of May, this winds are coming and India becomes so hot that this westerly jet stream or westerly winds which come to India, they become low pressure and they violently start behaving. So the third local wind which is found in this region is what is known as Andi in North India or what is known as Kal Baisakhi in West Bengal. Q, they are having moisture. But when they come to India, they become so hot that is this winds are forced to vertically rise up. When they are forced to rise up vertically, they will result into formation of cumulonimbus cloud. Cumulonimbus cloud ka base, jo ye part hai, that is very near to the ground. And uska top is in tropopause. Vertically, the cumulonimbus cloud ka height is somewhere around 8 to 9 kilometers vertically and it is full of moisture. They, because of this, it is black in color. Because it is black in color, it will block the sunlight. This the word is Kal. Kab aata hai? In the month of Vaishak. And therefore, Kal Baisakhi. Kya karta hai ye sab? This will give very heavy rainfall in those parts. Pure India mein nahi hoga rainfall. Andi agar Delhi mein aai, to West Delhi gets rainfall, East Delhi does not get rainfall. Aise bhoat baar hoga. So these are local winds which are dominating here. And the other local wind which dominates here is the most fatal wind. That is Lu. What is Lu? Heat waves. Lu is also known as heat waves. It is the fatal wind. Kya kehta hai IPCC? Lu ka temperature waise kitna hota hai? 45 to 50 degree Celsius. These winds are having a temperature. Kaha se aara itna high temperature? Deserts. Pakistan se nahi? Deserts. So this is the region of a desert. So it is having high temperature. So this is Lu. And what does IPCC say? IPCC says that if India does the same kind of global warming by 2050, Luka temperature will be 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. Impossible for us to survive. This take seriously the Paris Agreement. Look, there is one agreement that India is saying that we have already two targets already ready. Hai. Why we are worrying so much about the Paris Agreement? Why we are focusing on this? Otherwise, India's existence is finished if we do not act on climate change. Climate change is a reality and this loot, thunderstorms, Kal Baisakhi will become more and more dangerous over with the coming years. This year was not coming, this year was not coming, so before that, dhool was coming. And we have seen in this year, current affairs, mein, a new thing has come, that is a dust storm. So, this is the summer season. Extremely hot, 40 to 45 degrees Celsius is an average temperature in this region. Now, when the sun comes here, with the coming up of June, the sun will come here. And with the sun coming here, this belt ITC's head is an imaginary line. It is this is equator. Or hum kehte, equator is the low pressure belt. But in reality, what is a low pressure belt? Jo sabse zyada garam hai region, that is a low pressure belt. Understanding everyone? Koi bhi doubt hai to poochho. Baad mein ye sab repeat nahi hoga. Fir you will get, forget what is ITCZ. ITCZ is a low pressure belt. Low pressure belt, imaginary. Low pressure belt means which the region which is very hot, it is thermally induced. Ab sun agar yaha pe hai to kyu hoga yaha pe low pressure. Low pressure will be just below the sun and therefore we say in Indian geography that with the sun coming to the north of India, the ITCZ will shift to the north. This is how ITCZ will shift to the north.
कल ही लिखा था हमने आई टी सी जेड विल ऑक्यूपाई अ पोजिशन विच इज हियर इन द नॉर्थ ऑफ इंडिया लिखा था कि नहीं एंड वॉट इज आई टी सी जेड अ जोन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ विंड्स कौन सी विंड्स ट्रेड विंड्स फ्रॉम द नदर्न एमोस्फियर एंड द ट्रेड विंड्स फ्रॉम द सदर्न एमोस्फियर अब दिस एंड इन द मंथ ऑफ जून 21 जून को आई टी सी जेड विल शिफ्ट जो इंडियन एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स कहते हैं या एस्ट्रोनॉमी कहते हैं मृग नक्षत्र आ गया है मृग नक्षत्र मीन्स आई टी सी जेड एज शिफ्टेड सो कभी भी 21 जून को बारिश नहीं होती बारिश कभी जुलाई में जाती है कभी जून 15 में जाती है बिकॉज सन को 21 जून नहीं फॉलो करना है आई टी सी जेड कभी भी फॉर्म हो सकता है Why it will wait? या 21 जून बाकी है I will not shift to India. It is depending upon heating of the land. So as soon as this will come, can I say the entire India में low pressure system has very well developed? But what is the pressure system in the southern hemisphere? Winter season. Winter season means high pressure. पूरे इसमें where is the land? Either in Africa or either in Australia. and therefore australia will be having a very proper high pressure system because land will have differential heating and cooling and therefore what do we see is the law of wind wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure but coriolis force says that it will get converted to which side in the left side in the southern hemisphere ab this wind will come एंड देखेगा अरे कहाँ है आई टी सी जेड आई टी सी जेड तो इंडिया के ऊपर है तो मतलब उसको इक्वेटर क्रॉस करना पड़ेगा सो वंस इट क्रॉस इज द इक्वेटर बिकॉज इट हैज टू रीच हियर नॉट हियर इट वॉट इज द लॉ ऑफ विंड इट विल गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड टू द राइट हैंड साइड एंड वेन इट गेट्स डिफ्लेक्टेड टू द राइट हैंड साइड वी कॉल दिस एज साउथ वेस्ट and then it will come to india it will go to myanmar and yahan pe myanmar mein himalayas ka koi part hai arakan yoma isko wo cross nahi kar sakta so it was deflected towards assam meghalaya giving very very high rainfall in garo khasi jaintia some part of it goes towards laos cambodia and vietnam Now, when it comes towards India, wind किसको ढूंढ रहा है Low pressure. Wind is searching low pressure. Which is the hottest part of India? This part or this part? North West India, Rajasthan, etc. So when वो जाता है इधर ये wind देखता है कि अरे low pressure तो इधर है So it enters the Great Plains and As a result of this, it comes here. दूसरा इसका you can say branch, Arabian Sea branch आता है Kerala को strike करता है and after that it gives very very heavy rainfall here. It enters the narrow rift valley formed by which are the two mountains, Vindhyas and Satpuras and gives very heavy rainfall in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. इतना हैवी रेनफॉल दैट द रीजन इज नोन एज डंड कारण्य प्लाटू डंड मीन्स डेंस आरण्य मीन्स फॉरेस्ट डंड कारण्य प्लाटू द थर्ड ब्रांच ऑफ द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून वेस्टर्न घाट्स विंध्या सतपुरास अरावलीस गोज पैरल टू अरावलीस एंड गिवज वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल टू एंटायर हिमालयस एंड ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हिमालयस उसके बाद इट विल गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड टू द and thus the rainfall will keep on increasing thus ye pure india mein rainfall this region receives rainfall but yahan pe aate aate what has finished moisture, moisture has finished and therefore we have here is the thar desert yahan pe it crosses the western ghats after crossing the western ghats it is forced to come down so whenever i told you whenever the wind is forced to come down rainfall ya no rainfall dry conditions रेनफॉल हो रहा है एसी में से नहीं विंड इज फोर्स टू कम डाउन इट विल ऑलवेज प्रमोट ड्राई कंडीशन सो वी हैव वॉट इज नोन एज द ड्रॉट प्रोन रीजन ऑफ इंडिया 
परसों ही सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने अब यहाँ के 22,000 विलेजेस में ड्रॉट डिक्लेयर किया है ऑफिशियली सो दिस इज द ड्रॉट प्रोन रीजन ऑफ इंडिया विंड इज कमिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून सो इट बाईपासिस तमिलनाडु when it comes here it cannot cross the arakan yuma mountains so it is bifurcated towards india and then it will give the rainfall to entire region except tamil nadu so this is the rainy season just tell me how have you understood it, this two seasons why what is monsoon therefore we have written monsoon winds trade winds ka last point yaad rakhna monsoon winds are nothing but the trades of southern hemisphere which cross the equator and due to the coriolis force they are deflected towards india as southwest monsoon getting this ab the sun after feb he sorry after in the month of october september 23 september ke baad sun dheere dheere wapas jata hai and thus itcz starts shifting so dheere dheere monsoon starts withdrawing from india and this is what we will call this as a retreating monsoon but what happens during this season is sabse late monsoon comes in north india and sabse early it withdraws from north india why it is nothing but based on the position of sun so in the month of october north india becomes very dry but because the sun is not there so there are no clouds in the sky clouds will be present only if there is low pressure there is no sun so there are no low pressure there is no sorry the sun is there is no low pressure it is said niche at gaya so there are no clouds and because there are no clouds sun rays are directly hitting the north india and they are very strong but due to early 3 months of rainfall there is enough water vapor in the ground to trap the heat so sun ka heat is taken by the ground ground converts it into the terrestrial radiation and this terrestrial radiation is trapped by the water vapor so during the day time in the month of retreating monsoon temperature itna zyada bad jata hai that you call this famous as october heat raat mein par thand aana shuru ho jati hai we had experienced the same thing october heat some days back but this is the time because of the differential heating of land and the sea sea garam hona shuru ho jata hai understanding the sea will take time to get hot land is becoming cool but the sea becomes hot and therefore sea becomes hot therefore tropical cyclones originate in this season so tropical cyclones kon kahan pe both in the bay of bengal and in the arabian sea but tropical cyclones always move from west to east to west so whatever they originate here they come towards india whatever they originate here they go away from india into oman pakistan or some other regions so which coast of india is more prone to tropical cyclones eastern coast gaza eastern coast tamil nadu जितना लेट होगा ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन उतना चांसेस है इट इज गोइंग टू हिट तमिलनाडु जितना अर्ली होगा ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन दैट इज इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर दैट मीन्स इट विल ओरिजिनेट हियर इट इज गोइंग टू हिट ओरिसा और आंध्र प्रदेश इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर तमिल इट इज गोइंग टू हिट तमिलनाडु वाई बिकॉज इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर दिस ओशन हैज स्टार्टेड कूलिंग बट दिस इज कंपेरेटिवली वार्मर बिकॉज सन इज समवेयर नियर बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस and when the sun goes back sun goes back so dheere se this low pressure starts becoming getting converted into high pressure and thus we say winters have started to arrive in india but winters do not come in southern part of india because you can see the shape of india is tapering and therefore there is more dominance of ocean water ki heat is given to the surroundings but north india gets converted into high pressure there is a heavy snowfall in himalayas the temperature drops in the northwestern part of india while 
when the sun on 23rd of December will be on the tropic of Capricorn, ITCZ जो पहले north में shift हुआ था, it will shift to the south, and this will get converted into low pressure. Again, the same law of wind. Wind will flow from high pressure to low pressure. But this winds originate on the land, and therefore these are dry winds. Then they, and we will call this as north east monsoon. After crossing the equator, they will get deflected to the left. This is deflection to the right. See, deflection is to the right, and then they will get deflected to the left. and this winds will take up all the moisture and hit the north australia causing monsoon type of climate in the north australia but have you realized one thing is whether the winds were in the original direction of this way jab yahan pe summers tha or now they are coming here this region ko fayda hai kyunki usko rainfall hone hi wala hai this is tropical marine type of climate a slight modification of tropical monsoon kya difference hai marine type and monsoon type seasonal rain seasonal winds yahan pe seasonal winds but rain throughout the year that is chahi winds is coming from australia to india it is going to hit here giving rainfall whether the wind is coming from here to here it is hitting here and giving the rainfall that is tropical marine type of climate understanding this and this is monsoon most of india is dry because the winds are originating over the himalayas or north or over the land but some of the winds which originate here in myanmar etc they will travel over the bay of bengal pick up the moisture and after picking up the moisture they will give rainfall to tamil nadu and some parts of andhra pradesh and hence most of the india is dry during the winters except tamil nadu jaise hi winters aata hai waise westerly jet stream starts coming back to india and that will give rainfall some rainfall over here so basically this is monsoon but a very simple idea of monsoon yeah isliye hum monsoon nahi likhenge abhi but have you understood what is monsoon but is ki zarurat mujhe padegi in in indian geography bhi aur ek jet streams mein bhi jet streams hum kal karenge so any doubt here pakistan ko aid karega south asia matlab pakistan bhi everything 